Welcome to the A to J Author New Author Training for Fall 2020. This is Jessica Frank, A to J Author's Project Manager for CALI, the Center for Computer Assisted Legal Instruction. This is video one in our five part A to J Author training series. This video will cover the basics of document assembly. This short introduction will describe how an interview, which is the front facing interface the end user sees, interacts with the template, which is the back-end tool that takes the user's answers and transforms them into a complete document. One of the most challenging aspects of representing yourself in court is the form. The forms were written by lawyers for lawyers. They're meant to be gatekeepers of the justice system. They are overly complicated, full of legalese, and oftentimes too difficult for self-represented litigants to complete on their own. Automating a form allows you, the author, to transform a complicated legal document into digestible bits for the end user. You do this by finding all the blanks on the form, all of the spaces an end user would need to answer and replace those with the variables. This automates the back end template part. Then you take those variables and use them in an interview, the front end interface for end users, to gather the information from the end user. You as the author dictate the flow and order of the questions asked and the variables gathered, regardless of the original order on the form. With A to J Author as your interview front end, you can use the A to J Author document assembly tool, also known as the A to J DAT, as the template builder, or you can use Hot Docs to build the back end template. The end user's answer then answers the interview questions by filling in the blanks. Those answers are stored in the variables. Those variables are stored in the answer file. The answer file format is .anx. That's an XML file format. The end user's answer file then is passed to the server. The server compiles the answer file and the document template and returns a completed document to the end user. Again, to review, the end user completes the interview on their mobile device or their computer. They go through a series of screens answering questions. When they get to the end, they click a button with the label of something like get my document. The, then the software sends that answer file to the server, which compiles it with the template and returns a completed document to the end user. That's the basics of document assembly, how the end user's answers get turned into a completed document. If you have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out to me, jessica at cali.org. You can follow us on Twitter at A to J Author. If you're looking to practice some of the skills that you'll learn in this video training series, you can check out sample exercises on our website following the URL here or going to the Learn tab and searching for sample exercises there on our website. Or you can go to our authoring guide, which is our software manual, also available under the Learn tab on a to jauthor.org.